sense here that the settler's mindset of truly utilizing, supporting, and relying on each other has never really gone away. This region is just far enough away from a major city, Melbourne, to not necessarily be influenced by fleeting cultural trends. One example lies within fashion standards. As this massive industry influences social norms for its own benefit, it also serves our expression of personality. However, our relationship with clothing, if nothing else, has become a focal point of the origins of which it comes from. And as a result of technological advancements, our fashion choices have presented us with the challenge of returning to our roots. And one company dedicated to respecting this art form is the Great Ocean Road Woolen Mill. Owners Nick and Isabel Renters have put great care into developing wool, cotton and fleece naturally and sustainably. So here I am to get an education on their farm to yarn process. We're here in Australia in this beautiful countryside in Victoria. I've seen a lot of sheep but you guys have chosen the alpaca. Why? We just decided that these are really cute. <laughs> they are really, um, really but cute. But also from a livestock perspective actually quite easy to handle. Really? They do need um, shearing, of course, once a year, which is what led us into our little enterprise here. But yeah, they're just really lovely animals. They're really well natured. Of course, the best is to be able to get in with them and put your hands into their fleece. So are we going to go in and, yeah. and take a look? Yeah. Okay, let's try. Hi. It's okay. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, so he's more flighty. It's all right. Oh my goodness. And you actually see the fleece, it's really, really thick, thick and yeah. um, very, very warm. Oh my gosh, it feels so good and it does feel mm. so warm. Yeah, but in comparison to sheep, it's actually a hair and from a processing perspective really does make a difference. Well, alpacas are definitely cute, but a little too skittish for me to hang around. So I walked inside with Nick to see how this hair gets turned into yarn. So here you can see we've got some absolutely gorgeous black alpaca that's just been shorn and we've got some light fawn alpaca. Oh my gosh, it's so soft, Nick. It just shows you how black the black really is. It is, isn't it? And um, how soft alpaca absolutely is. I just want this to throw on a bed and lean it. It's yeah. so soft. So what happens from when you shear the alpaca? Okay, so once it comes into the into the mill part here, we have a washing machine where we wash some of that dust and dirt out of them. We then open the fibre up, which is called a picker. From there, we then go to our carding machine, which is the heart of the mill. It's brushing. Which is brushing the fibre. So this is actually some beautiful, beautiful fibre here. And oh, it we, really is. We spread it out on the belt evenly between the blue lines that are okay. on here. If you'd like to push the green button. I would love to. Here we go. One, two, three. All right. So it's going through very slowly. It looks like it's almost getting brushed multiple times. It is. This big centre drum is guiding it all around and then there's little brushes that collect it, put it back on, take it back off, put it back on until it gets back to the last roll there where it's brushed off and pulled out the front. Oh, look at that. And this is the fibre coming out this end. It's really admirable that you're taking such a beautiful fibre and doing nothing but washing and brushing yeah. and then putting it on these spindles over here. Yeah. I mean, talk about your carbon footprint and, and the importance of being sustainable and producing something that is really clean. I always say that I'm not a greenie, but we just care about the world that we actually live on. So we think, well, let's do our part, let's keep it as simple and as sustainable as we can. So we're, let's use beautiful clean rainwater, let's use the sun to power these we, we just want to keep things as local and as natural as nature intended. And as Nick continued to walk me through the process, it was easy to admire the passion and dedication he and Isabel are putting forth towards cultivating nature naturally.